Gary Gorrazzo, who has a lifetime experience in Nepal. So I'll just go through uh, the format. Check your when as I will be explaining to you a little bit about the Kora, and he came the chapter, first of all, the who are the partners who are involved. You will say uh, the biggest thing about the Kora is very simple. It is the biggest mass ride in the Himalayas. Uh, I mean, they say we also claim actually Thailand ma uh, get a ride for your dad, but there are 20,000 people, 30,000 people are there, so we cannot claim Asia. So uh, South Asia, I think, would probably one of the biggest rides. Uh, about 3,000 riders. I think a registration answer we are today currently at about 2,400 something. Uh, they will have the figures, but it doesn't matter. And then we do uh, 50 kilometers, 75 kilometers, or 100 kilometers per ride. By the summer, I think we have about 150 people registered for the 100 kilometer. About 400 people, a little more than that, registered for the 75 kilometers. And about uh, 2,000 will be riding, close to 2,000 will be riding the 50 kilometers. Right now? Oh, yeah, good morning. I'm sorry, I'm going to get registered now. But it's one of that. So there still needs to be registered. Yeah. So there's still more being registered, though it's the second last year. Yeah? So it is definitely the biggest ride in the Himalaya, and it's happening this Saturday. It always happens on the third weekend of July. You know, for the last nine years we've been doing that. You know, so that's just a record. Your photograph is from 2015. Okay. Okay. We had actually thought, because this is July, Winsaro, April now, we had thought that maybe we should not do it, but we have a tendency to do it. Maybe we should not do it. But then we also said, this is the only way we can prove that Nepal is still functioning. To do something like this. Actually, one of the highest turnouts came up. About 2,800 registrations. So it was a massive ride. And that ride actually was supporting uh, to build a health post in Dolak, uh, which we completed the following year. So this will I share with one of So you can see photographs from, from the right. Massive. Oh, as much as this little infographic will tell you a little bit about the Kora. Who's organizing it? Social Tools is organizing it. Cycle City Network Nepal is the other partner that has been a long time partner that has been the co organizer. I mean, Pan would say a couple of years ago, Panra Outdoor Events became our partner for conducting the event. And Tita Tita partner would say, I mean, Ella already So, Kora, they Started in 2011 with only 35 writers. Well, these are another riders then, and we start with that. Then it grew to about 450 riders. There was about 900 riders. There was 1,700 riders, and after that, it's always been close to 3,000 riders. And there was, I mean, so you mean 3,000 riders to Harare, and my dad. Last year, the it also expanded beyond Kathmandu. And last year, it was five cities. You were only five cities today. So you were Sasurket, Bhutol, Nepalans, Hetora, and Harana. Right as well. So it is truly slowly moving into becoming a national event. And our total, I mean, the participation over the years, there are only 14,000 riders for participation by size. Obviously, many of them repeat riders. Right? 14,000 riders. I mean, what I'm going to estimate for a total number of kilometers we've ridden, over 714,000 kilometers, I mean, riders. So that's quite a quite an impressive figure. Your route head to it's about 225 kilometers in total. So when I jore it, on this one, 50 kilometers, 75 kilometers, 100 kilometers, sir. All you can say repeat it, sir, obviously, you know. And that is the idea is that the routes will always remain similar every year. The idea is coming from possibly the idea of a modern sort of festival. Kumari ko jatra mani yore root hunsa vane, amro jatra mani shikin yore root hunsa vane, yore root hunsa vane. So that is the sort of idea that we are trying to take over. Although fundraise and causes are supported over the years, about 58 lakhs, close to 60 lakhs, I mean, let's say, fundraise gara chalai sa chum. Boy kati ma nai center banai di ma amin ee rukum ma upgrade gareum, kumati trails vane vada trails ko suruat bhaakwa sa, aadi gali ni bishnare bhaar de se kyaan. Dora ka ma health center ni banai di ma amin ee, ani, Last year, last year, earthquake safe initiative. Last year, I am a rider to Sri Lanka. We do a walk of fun. Mommy, I am a Narayan Gopal fun. Then we also did it for women, right? Women in adventure. This was like many. I mean, last year, I mean, this was pause or what? So the idea being very simply, cycling or running, I am like only like running contribute to the society or the society life. I am like our Romayo or running, or running. I am like running society. So that is the sort of concept. The concept is very simple, actually. 
For each kilometer you ride, you try to raise about 100 rupees. Potential the master banyani about every year could be over a crore. So we ride for sorry about here. There are urdhve. Because people, Nepalese generally, I mean, we are also very shy to ask for money. I mean, go ahead, I am all of us are there. I mean, only tendency, only concept. So our targets are not very high. The targets are just I mean, that they are high. Okay. Our I mean, this is the key. Sponsorships are my thing. My thing like key. This is a very, very progressive brand. It's a very solutions-oriented brand. You know, cycling is a very solutions-oriented thing. Kathmandu is perfect for cycling. Our thing like say, it's a very young brand. And they were I mean, sponsor or license. I mean, key one. So associate yourself with a brand like this. It makes sense. It is also different. I think Abdullah. That what Abdullah really likes is that it's very different. It does not follow the season. It is not trekking. Yeah, which is what Nepal always markets. You know, so they, this, like, okay, this is a completely different thing. So we're telling people if you want to be associated with a progressive, solutions-oriented uh, brand, then Quora is Quora makes sense. Our brand visibility, uh, social media, I mean, a quarter of a million views per prices. Currently, our event is being watched by about eighty thousand people. And you know, it is about it reaches about eighty thousand. I mean, Bali Samat, you almost almost uh, hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. Plus, I mean, the big boost happens when we put the click to win. And click to win the photographic contest for the for about another uh, two weeks, three weeks after after the Quora, the visibility goes really shoots up. You know, Tithwala man said, Quora, the photograph rang, that's the budget. Photographic competition, the photograph rounds up, Tithwala said, brand visibility goes up tremendous amounts on social media. And you have a proven charity, so CSR elements, and that's the option. Generally, man, sir, that's you. He's also more importantly today. I mean, it's saying you boss of I'm doing his own fundraising. I'm doing my own fundraising. We are having fundraising. My family, so far, we are just doing it. So, I survivors from last year, they're trying to fundraise about a lakh. Unnali Abhile. We just heard yesterday that Lakshmi Bank is sponsoring their riders for fifty thousand rupees to to ride to for the for the charity. Mohanga ride or whatever. Harle ne aadhin chhoda na mohanga chhoda. So that is the sort of concept that we also like to promote in Nepal. That corporate start thinking that you know this is the way to fundraise. You can be this one join the In the in uh, you know there are people who climb Everest all the time for their own causes. And they do a join the business. They don't take a meter for lagi. Us ko lagi bharra hai. I mean, what I say is, push me like that. Nepal like that. Like that. Car like that. Concept. But once you get to get to it, and we see more and more examples of this happening, you say fundraising should be quite simple because we're doing a a lot lot about it. Those are key points. I'm saying this about. परीक्षण <laughs> हमें यह कैंप गये लमजुम सको सिंधुपालचोक समाप्त सिंधुपाल काठमंडू को में जनजागरण छाने चाहिए ना जो कुछ होने रहे तर ते हो कैंप अलमोस्ट पचास पर्सेंट लो बारे में अवेरनेस छेन रवेरनेस भारती फोर्टी टू फिफ्टी पर्सेंट ने प्क्टिस कर जबकि कैंसर का अगड़ी नहीं हमें सामने सक समयमें देखी इस डरा पर्दन या निको कर सकता जिस को ज्वलन उदाहरण हजार भिडियो में देखने पर हम संगे अगड़ी नहीं बबिता जी और सुषमा जी भी हो टाइम्स कैंसर सर्वाइवर रू टाइम्स कैंसर सर्वाइवर आई थिंक दे डिजर्व अ राउंड अफ अप्लॉज कर वर्किंग वर्किंग विथ टू प्रमोट अवेरनेस हम थे यूनाइटेड अगेन्स्ट कैंसर कैंसर भर को कुछ एट संस्था ने मेडिकल प्रोफेसन का मानी मेरे अगड़ी बढ़ना सकते हैं कैंसर भाग साथ भय डर त्रास मृत्यु कैंसर बिरामी भाई भाई बिचारा भाई हम सामज हमें तो भयला चिर्न को हम जहाँ भी कैंसर आँच भरी हो कैंसर इन ग्रीन नया रंग में नया ढंग में हेरू कैंसर भाग साथ मृत्यु होना संयमता को रंग जीवन को रंग भी हेन सकता हमें भाई अगड़ी बढ़ा चाहिए यूनाइटेड अगेन्स्ट कैंसर को देखो में वी आर सो ग्लैड To be a part of this Pura 2019. So we are bringing something people together, showing the health and science, the beauty of Nepal in the monsoon season. Is a 
course, showing them what is going on in and there are many things to do here, even in this season. And honestly, in the future, our target is to make Nepal a riding destination as well. Why not people come to Nepal and ride their cycles in the season? Many people are coming already, but we want to highlight this in international level a little bit. Hopefully, 10 years will be much more better. Uh, and this, uh, happy to be a part of that. Thank you. I know about it. Our objective in this event is to provide the medical aid. Needed. Obviously, IO has always been the medical partner. We have always uh, we have done other events together. The Hof, uh, you know, you have your fun run and other events. So this is this uh, event has been a yearly mark for us. So we try to do this implemented every year. And uh, the main object of this uh, event, Amro Medi Medical Line, is so that everyone can have fun at the same time be safe. That's our main objective. We don't want uh, anything to happen to our participants, to our volunteers, to anyone. So the objective was uh, to provide the medical best, uh, you know, first aid treatment also. Like we did yesterday, we had an uh, amazing uh, sessions with our doctors, with our expertise in nutrition, in uh, physiotherapy, in, uh, you know, stretching and all, and even in uh, first aid treatment. So I believe that was a very important aspect and I thank uh, Tora for this event as well as uh, Pangro and uh, Sailendra here. In, uh, it is a very uh, lovely event that we are having. I'm sure in the future we will also get together to know more about it. Thank you so much. This is Nepal Tourism TV. Please like, share and subscribe to stay updated on tourism news in Nepal.